Hey, Hans. Hi, everyone. Hi. Squad, look at them all grown up. In it, man's got a so beard now. <laughs> man's got a Somali Wow. <laughs> Boom! Two twos. FIFA and chill. This one, Paul, a very special one. Close to our heart. It's the man like Maya Jams. Oh, that's so cool. Second. Oh, cool. Inner art. Inner art. Inner art. Inner art. In our art. In our art. Hey. In in our art. art. Real boss, man, she wants in our art. Real fireman, she wants in our art. Yes. Yeah. Martin, yeah. you're our second um, lady guest. Am I? Who was the first? After Kate Abdul. Oh, wicked. But his poet calls her Kate Abdul. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. That's how you just showing yeah. someone's name. You know what I'm saying? I've noticed it. Poet's always like. Kate Abdul. Yeah, Kate Abdul. Right. But yeah, how are you? Shit. I'm alright, I'm not bad. It feels really nice sitting and working with you lot again. I don't know if we've been on camera since, together as a three. I don't think like, so. As an actual probably job. Probably like Snapchat because you love that. But yeah, so do else, you. Probably not. Me Insta Snap. I Try and put me on the spot for loving Snapchat. Nothing. Yeah, whatever, mate. You know the but, little, little story <laughs> things that you're Oh, you two need to like just take phone <laughs> heroin. Like, <laughs> just, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Stab it in. No, but no, but, yeah, it's nice. I'm happy to be with you lot. I missed yeah, you. We missed together. you well. oh, I missed you, man. We've 100%. all grown up. Yeah. I was saying, Vu just got a beard. Balls have dropped. A lot has changed. Man. Right, how do you know this information? But your voice got a bit deeper. Shit has changed. How have you been, though? How's life? Um, Life's all right, yeah. yeah. Busy. Working a yeah, lot, yeah. um, finally of age. Remember, I was seventeen when I met you. Actually, maybe wow. sixteen. You were sixteen when you 16. met me. Sixteen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm an actual adult now, hmm. which feels nice. Um, but loads of stuff. Do you want me to say exactly, or just go on, go on, go on. I don't know how to go on. Tell us exactly what am I doing now? Yeah. Um, well, right now I'm about to start a Radio One show in nice. February. So that's nice. good. Thanks. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, Liz. Thanks. And uh, what else am I doing? Just did a Gap campaign. I saw that. And Scissor, who else? Scissor and Metro Booming. I saw If you're young, Metro Don, trust you. Um, yeah. I felt really like I didn't want to beg friend with them, so I tried to act super cool and just like, hi, oh, you're right, yeah, and just kind of left it at that. Sick. So yeah, yeah. Because your name's involved in the fade of tweets, cause you have to act. You have to act like that. You try, yeah, you try and act normal. I know that's cute, and it they they included me. But no, yeah, loads of exciting stuff. I can actually think of everything, and it's just boring to say everything. And but you yeah, in the forest. Yeah, I yeah, went yeah, to the jungle. The jungle. Yeah, yeah, I was let me get me out of here. The I extra show though. Yeah, yeah, no, it was good. But the jungle's actually a proper jungle. Mm. Like you know, when you watch TV, you think it's like maybe a fake jungle no, where like jungle. it's an actual jungle and like it's wet and there's like leeches and all of that kind of stuff. I probably wouldn't go on. Would you go on there? Yeah. Would you go out in the jungle, you two? I'm black, of course not. <laughs> Do you know how hard it took us to get out of the jungle? jungle? We're done now, fam. I'm having a good time. Everything's Sick. really exciting at the That's moment. That's the most important, man. So yeah, it's good. I feel like my work's paid off a little bit. But even mm. though it's just still right at the beginning, I feel like things are like cemented a bit more now. Yeah. Matty. Yeah. You've come far from Copa Noventa. I know, but I do miss it. I like it's yeah, cute yeah, being yeah. back. Well, I miss Football Virgin days. I yeah. do. Do check that out on the channel. Uh, Maya Jama as a Football Virgin. Do you want to try some FIFA? This is FIFA and short. Yeah, I would. The last time let's I played try. FIFA was when I played it with the FIFA player. But let's not take it seriously because we want to like talk to you, chat to you, bit of banter, blah 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 blah. Bit blah. of bants. To be honest, but I'm not obviously going to be that good. I'm actually really good at like Mario Kart and like racing games and stuff. Yeah. Though. yeah, yeah. Is it Mario Kart on that really small I'm thing? Be hard, hard. That's happening. The little switch. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually the rain in champ at that at the moment. Real life? Oh, go on. In my household, yep. Are you Hud-Hud? The grand old game of Hud-Hud West Ham. Hud-Hud Hall. No, she's picked West Ham. I didn't even no. look, I just pressed go. Press X, press X. Press X. Just keep pressing press X. X. Press okay, X. go. All right, we are about, what, two, well, by the time this video comes out, two months in, uh, 2018. Mm. And January. Ethan wants to know, do you have any resolutions for 2018? Is he from there? Where is that? That's Glasgow. Scotland. Scotland. Aye. Do you remember Angus. how I learned how to do a Scottish accent? Yeah. You know, remember that um, advert where he's like, An Angus Barker. Are you crazy? He <laughs> says, Barker. Yeah, uh, do I have any New Year's resolutions? No. I try not to do them well, because um, it's just same. like, I'm never actually going to stick to them if mm. I'm honest. And yeah, I just find them a bit pointless. But I do start the new year like hoping to have a better one than the last each time. Mm. Like make it mm. an improvement from last time mm. if you can. And just try and do stuff that makes you happy. That my was friend, my that was my thoughts going into 2018. I like that. My friend Kenneth had a great New Year's resolution. What was it? to go gym for the whole month of January. So has he done it? <laughs> well, but he has, and by the end of it, he would have completed his New Year's resolution. Has he um, done it? That is smart. But that is smart. But that's also a lot of work going gym every single day. Well, Do you go gym? Obviously, I don't go gym. Look at me. Do I even eat? <laughs> 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 Actually, you do. Every video, you do eat still. Yeah, yeah, only yeah. on yeah, shoots. Only, apart from the shoot, yeah, only eat shoot. I just do it so no one says, oh, he doesn't eat. He's <laughs> see me eating. But in real life... No, but I think you've just got one of those metabolisms where you mm. can eat what you want and then it just Skinny doesn't... Thing, you don't it? put on weight. <laughs> Girl, you know me so well. Um, <laughs> Nathan also wants to know some questions about football here now. 
What team do you support and why? Which you actually revealed, I believe, on Football Virgin. I did. So, so reiterate whole... to the people then. So at the end of Football Virgin, I had to choose a team after learning everything I could about football in the space of, I think it was maybe like four months. But um, yeah, I went with Bristol Rovers because I am from Bristol local. and my family support Bristol Rovers. That's their local team. Oh, um, you should have gone with Bristol City. Local. I know. Do you know what? The thing is, I That's actually funny. went, I grew up with, well, not grew up, we were friends when we were like young adults, teenagers, like 12, 11, mm. 13. Bobby Reed's actually my mate. Mm. Not to name drop, he's my genuine friend, but mm. was when I lived there. And so now I'm like, I should have just supported Bristol City because then I'd know somebody. What did you just say? You said who's that? You said who's that? <laughs> oh, That's no. so weird, man. Do you not know him? He's doing really well, I think. I keep seeing people I'm tweeting about him, he's... doing well. Is it? Scored it's against Man City. Hard. Yeah, no, he, he's doing really well. But anyway, actually, I, I quite like West, West Ham just right, because right, right. of yeah, all the football much. games I've gone to, yeah. the West Ham well, fans well, were the well, jokest. Like, the chants and everything were hilarious. And I just felt like the rowdy spirit in them. I thought it was quite funny. Who's West Ham guys? Yeah. 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 I thought they were a laugh. So you like Steve-O? Uh, yeah, Steve-O the Madman. Absolute yeah. joker. And Spencer Owen. Yeah, all of them lot. Maximum. Great Logan guys. Sama. Yeah, I actually went to a football match with Maximum and Logan Sama. Is no it? A West Ham match, yeah. Oh, no way. A couple of years ago. Loved it. It was jokes. Yeah. Um, eight pine mash as well. Mm-hmm. I wasn't yeah. even filming it as well. We just did it for a day out. Oh, that's like, you don't have to film everything, you know. No, what I mean? you don't. But you know, some people think, "Oh, no, what show?" <laughs> it's actually been like, yeah. I think like congratulations though, man. Like, oh, you're so young thanks. and like I mean, we all are to be fair. We all are little well poets. Not like, me. Someone was there. Poets <laughs> forty-two. How has the like, young girl from Bristol <laughs> um, taken to all this? <laughs> you know what? I always get asked. People are like, "Oh, how did you do stuff so young?" But I genuinely think Ross. when I was younger, I was more fearless and more confident and more you just like I think you're kind of naive when you're younger and just like, mm. well, I'm going to get it and if it doesn't work, then fuck it. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 Whereas yeah, yeah. as you get older, you get more doubts and you get a bit more worried about stuff and mm. all of these other things. But I was like a little fearless child, I think. Same. So I just went for everything. Mm. Like if any time I had an opportunity, I was like, I'm going to smash it, basically. Just, just go like, for it. Yeah. You're fearless, you know, we were watching all your YouTube videos. Like, we watched Me? every one of your videos from start to finish. When? Yeah, like, was, two days ago. Oh my God, what? Bro, bro, dying. This guy was in the streets, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> he did it, and his surroundings, I mean, traffic. Yeah. Things, Fire, but he but that's the care. thing. I don't know what it is, so you care less when you're younger. Of 100%. You? Yeah. And also, you just don't know about reality properly. So you're just kind of like, so what? You don't know how many yeah, people are yeah, watching yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You don't really know that people are judging you. You kind of yeah. just think. I think you do, but you just, it doesn't, you don't care. Yeah, you're just trying to impress your friends, basically. Mm. That's as deep as it gets. Yeah. And the Instagram man, then. Exactly. And from day one. And Twitter. And Twitter. Yeah. But yeah, even Twitter wasn't as big though when we started. It wasn't, it wasn't. I remember we, I started working before Instagram because mm, I was yeah, working yeah, for Jump Off before same. and then Instagram came along and it was kind of there but it wasn't pressuring. Yeah, no, it like, wasn't. Like you just wasn't. did whatever. And now? And now it's like the it's whole life. life. Isn't it? Basically, yeah, it's mad. You forget though, nowadays you don't have a website, you've just got your Instagram. So mm. that's like your way of promoting yourself true, at the end of the true. day. Like you don't actually need a job really at the time. You can say to brands, hey look, I've got this much influence on 100,000 people, pay me and I'll post your stuff. And mm. then you've got your own little career. Mm, mm, that's for those of you at home. Look, you just said that you went to a game with Maximum and Logan Sama. Mm-hmm. Um, Boran wants to know, is it, you know, what is the best football match you've been to? Is that the only one or have you been to quite a few? No, I went to loads during Football Virgin and I was in the wo- uh, in Brazil for the World Cup in 2014 oh, yeah, with yeah. Copa 90. You so saved my life. You and Vuj saved my life. I did. So I was going to get killed by Argentinians. He was. Do you want to know the story? Basically, on Poet's birthday, we were out in the middle of Brazil and um, you were really, really drunk. He's the worst drunk in the world. He's oh. just a state, and obviously he's not a small man, so he's quite hard to control. Like Florida. Very long, state. like this. And he was flying around, and Argentina fans were chanting stuff, and he was chanting back at them, some other stuff, mm. like you yeah. being a bit mm. rude. And he was getting shouted at, and me and Vujra kind of watching from a distance, and they looked like they were going to beat him up. And Amen. so we swooped in and saved him. Yes. And then about 10 minutes later, he was on the pavement with his plaits spread across the curb. <laughs> <laughs> That was wow. probably one of the best trips I've ever had, though. I'm not even right, going to lie. Even to this so day, funny, like, bro. that was one of my favourite times. Because it was oh. just like being on holiday and then doing like a little bit of work in between. <laughs> yeah. No, it was, if we're honest. It's true, it was Brazil. Well, some guy's got a really interesting name. I won't try and pronounce it because I just embarrassed myself. But he wants to know best memory when you were working at Copa 90. Would you say it was the Brazil trip? Yeah, 100% it was the Brazil trip. But we were out there for like, well, I was out there for two months in total, I think. Two years about, there for a while. Yeah, a long time. So I was basically Brazilian and you lot came out for the second month. I think my highlight was go into like the strip in um, Sao Paulo where it was like a street carnival on one of the days <laughs> of the match. Else, yeah. No, 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 no. And just having a party <laughs> with you guys after the games because everybody was celebrating. It was basically like Notting Hill Carnival every day, mm. don't you think? Yeah, mm. yeah, but yeah, with yeah. football, mm, pretty and, much. And Brazilians. But like a young voice for young women as well. Yeah, no, it's How quite nice. How have you found nice. that, that you've um, become this voice? Do you know what I think? I think 
us lot, especially, we're part of this like generation of we have got our own voices. Did I just score? You just scored a banger. Well, Christ. well, Wellington boot. I didn't I even know I was like... doing that. That's banger. good, isn't it? Middle of a deep chat. Fair play. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I mean, it's just when man. When we were little, when I was little growing up, I remember there'd be like celebrities or music artists or whoever that I looked up to, and you'd only ever see them in magazines and you wouldn't ever hear like mm. what they were going through mm. or if they even had a normal life, you'd just see all the good stuff. Idolise like, them, innit? Yeah, and like you just thought, oh gosh, if I'm dealing with this, I bet they never I have to deal with these. a sad oh, day or anything like that. And so I just try and be as honest as possible with like everything going on in my life because I think. You know what, if there is a little girl that really likes me and she looks up to me and she's going through something similar, it'll be really nice for her to be like, oh, Maya deals with it and she's still got like a good job and she's dealing with her life and da 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 mm, you know? Mm. Just try and be um, as transparent as possible, I think, because we can do it nowadays. And what's the downside? Like you just being honest with what you're going through or your experiences, what bad happens? You're a little bit more vulnerable, but it's your truth, and You're not hiding anything. That's interesting to know. Little Kev wants to know off the back of that type of conversation. Little Kev. Who are your inspirations, though? Who did you look up to? Who, who are the people are my that inspirations? inspired you? Do you know what? Mostly my friends and stuff, you know, yeah, more than same. like actual people on telly or anything like that. I love Davina. She's like one of my presenter mm. idols. Mm. Just because I, I remember watching her when I was younger and being like, I love you just because you just have a laugh. You met her? Like, no, never. I've actually not met Davina. You will. Love Emma Willis. I met her and she's just amazing and like, you know, but I think Davina just showed a silly side mm. to like women presenters and I love that. And I just feel like when she talks to people, she looks like she proper cares, Jokes which is rare well. rather than just asking questions and like moving on to the next. She looked like she's proper into people's stories and everything like that. And that's what I like about her. But otherwise, do you know who I like to follow? Princess Nokia. Oh, she's sick. Yeah, I like her. She's actually, from the artist, right? like Yeah, Nokia. and yeah. she's just like raw and just herself. Proper and like, raw, isn't it? Yeah, and just it's completely like, this is me, take it or leave it vibes. And I think there should be more people like her. Mm. So yeah, mm. basically. Mm. And my mum, yeah. my mum's a J as well. Owen oh, uh, Shaw says, um, ask Maya, do you think Lingard is better as an introverted winger <laughs> or a false that. name trequarista? Um, I'm going to say, an introverted winger. Yeah, he. Yeah, yeah. I'm just because like, <clears throat> you know he's an Who introvert knows what it means? and he likes to wing. Thoughts on Arsenal fan TV from Uncle Khaled? Do you know what? I actually I don't watch it, but I see loads of clips of, of it I, on my timeline. So you're aware of it? Yeah, yeah. I know everyone's shouting in the background. It gets really heated. People start getting mad. I you can have no jokes. opinion of it at all. No, no. That's my opinion. I think it's I think it's hilarious. Like I like stuff that's <laughs> just like rural and like you just say what you want kind of vibe. So yeah, big up Arsenal fan TV. I won a two-one thanks. Okay, fight. but at least I scored. Who's go through some questions? A couple man. more. Your advice for young people going into TV, radio, and media overall from Sammy Ahmed. What's my advice? Mm. Gosh, I don't know. I, I try not to like give too much advice because it's like everybody's mm. completely different. I agree. But I would just say that don't get disheartened by your nose because obviously you're not going to get every single job. I you meant not your nose. nose. <laughs> don't worry about nose, that nose. Yeah. Don't get disheartened when people tell you no because if you don't get a job, it's probably just because it's not right for you and there'll be something else. Usually, what happens with me if I don't get a job that I really wanted. I'm mm. sad about it. Something else will come up that meant that I wouldn't have been mm. able to film that one anyway. Mm. So I'm like, oh, look, that's why I didn't get that one because now I can do this one that works out better for me. And You're everything sick. happens for a little bit of a reason. So I'd say that. And then also be nice to everyone because the runner that you work with could end up being your boss in the future. So if you're rude to anybody on the way up, then you're probably going to see them again. And then, you know, on the way just, down. Yeah. So You've got to be nice, nice to everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. My like end goal, what I actually want to do, yeah, I think, it, well, what I'm pretty sure I want to do, I might have another goal after this, but like yeah. have an Alan Carr style chatty man show mm, on primetime amazing. TV, basically where it's like me and then I have guests and talk about stuff and have a little drink and then like kind of a twist of celebrity juice. So there's like silly challenges and things like that. That would be my ideal show. If you were a grime star, what would your name be? Ooh. Um, M, M Dog. Actually, is there one called M Dog already? No. M no, or like M Jams. I think that's quite good. How about Jammer? Jammer. It's taken already. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, just a different spelling. Yeah, yeah. M M Jams, something like that. I think I would be more likely like a garage MC than an MC MC because Inter. I'm actually quite good. So you're basically part of Mystique. Hunter, never hunting try. Yeah. Alicia Dixon. Basically. I think if I was like their age back then, I would have tried to get involved in the crew. Mm. Can you go to mm. little 16 now? Uh, no. Yeah. I heard I you get 16, that was bad, but I can't you do it Skinny bar Sort. Bar. No, that's one of my favourite songs, Skinny Sort, because I was Marga back in, well, not exactly big now, but yeah, I was very Margs, and I used to relate to it, like, just because I'm the Skinny Sort, they think they can fuck with me. I hear you. Yeah. There we go. I could relate to it, but they were right. They could fuck with me, so I was just going <laughs> to take the beating and keep it moving. No, it's jokes. But yeah, I could do a 16, but it's just going to involve mums and dads, and you know, it's not. It's probably not appropriate. Mohammed asked them, what is your best moment so far? Um, 
my best moment, probably getting Cannonball because it was my first ever, like, that was when I felt like, okay, I'm doing the crossover to, like, mainstreamy yeah. world because I've never been on primetime telly or, like, a channel one to five. Mm. And that's, like, I didn't expect to be on there for another, like, five years at least. So when I got that job, I was like, oh, my God, that means, like, my mum and, like, my nan and everyone's going to watch me and actually know what shows I'm doing. Because if you tell someone, yeah, I'm doing this show online, like, my older family members ain't really going to have a clue. But mm. with this one, I was like, wow, I'm actually going to be in people's front rooms and stuff. So that was... Yeah, that's massive incredible, moment for man. Me. Because you yeah. know, obviously you've also done a documentary on Channel Five about yeah, that which one. was a beautiful watch and Thanks. you've done a lot, my G. We haven't gone into more private stuff. You no. had a quick request. Let's just <coughs> Yeah, do you know, know what it is? It. I try not to talk too much about my relationship because I think it's just a bit boring. Like, you know, yeah. try and keep it a bit private. I get it, people wanna know, but oh, like we're just no a couple. Idea. Like yeah. it's just a normal life, apart from people care. But I knew I know that was gonna come up in the comments. They're gonna be like, oh, "Yeah, no, I know." Like, someone oh. said, "How does it feel to go out with someone that's shit at FIFA?" Mm. Which I showed him, and he said, "Yeah, to be honest, I don't really play it that much." That's the answer. Oh, oh did he beat you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but that was like, it's, if Stormzy couldn't come here and win now. No, nah, he wouldn't win. Now. No. I'll tell you that for a fact. We've got a hostile atmosphere now. Oh, okay, yeah. serious. Yeah. We got fans. We got flares. It's mad like, flares. Crazy. Is it? Yeah. And yeah, Benjamin comes from like this oh. FIFA and <laughs> But I think that's the end of FIFA and Show My Jammer. Yeah, man. Absolute Thanks for having pleasure me. to have you back on Copa Nante, Copa Nova. Hercules! Uh, Hercules! Hercules! We're all yeah. taking such a nice journey. You're all godmother of my kids. I now. am, the yeah. Godmother. Oh, the godparents! Oh, this is the godparents! Fairly godparents! Do follow Maya on the socials, because it will be in the description if you don't already, which you probably do. Um, <laughs> absolute legend, that was FIFA and Show. Um, damn, have a nice 2018. Have Ooh. a nice. See you. See you. See you. See you. See me in it.